Palandri, this is Professor Naren, and welcome to NDIM. Thank you. So it was a very interesting uh, paper which you presented, you know, the research which you are wanting to do, the relationship between sexual violence and cultural complexity. Now there is another angle which, you know, I think if you can talk about it, that whether, you know, finally it boils down to lack of education. You know, you may belong to any culture, you may belong to any caste, any creed, but if you are not educated enough, sexual violence could be a cause, could be a you know effect of that. What do you think about it? I think that um, there's no research that I've come across that talks about the talks about lack of education in terms of causality of sexual violence. I think it might be a contributing factor, the less you know, the more insecure you may feel, because rape and sexual violence is about control and power. And so someone who Lacks education, lacks access, lacks employment, may feel out of control, they may feel powerless. And this is one way in which to try to take back that, that power. Okay, so maybe, you know, while you are researching, you could also look at the center because this could, you know, uh, give you a different insight on the entire, uh, you know, the, the, the question that you are trying to find the answer for. Well, what's interesting is, is that my particular target population of all mental qualifications to be in higher education in the United States. They're college-age students, so that's what we're looking at. So they pretty much have a similar background in terms of education, educational attainment. Uh, what is not known is what are the other contributing factors. And some, of, some of the research suggests things like alcohol and drug abuse. Um, see what Preconditions uh, pre which could lead to which could lead to, to sexual, sexual violence, right? Such as sexual confusion themselves, and their own gender expression, their own um, uh, sexual orientation, etc. Those things can contribute to the confusion, and to the to the frustration, and to the acting out of sexual violence. And yes. Sexual violence is a broad much umbrella. It's, it's not just. So you're limiting the study primarily to the higher education? Yes, okay. yes, because those that is where the, uh, the mandates are for college, maybe colleges and universities, the mandates for the programs. So what I'm interested in looking at is will introducing the cultural competency framework to the mandated sexual violence program, will that help improve outcomes for young men of color on college campuses? Okay, so I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And uh, is this the first time that you're coming to India? This is the first time, but okay. I enjoy myself. And how has been your experience at NDIM? NDIM is awesome. The people are great. And I really appreciate the hospitality. And thank you for being so welcome. And I enjoy the discussion. It's vibrant. And, uh, you know, I got a lot of, out of the discussion from the professionals that were involved in the panel. Thanks for the opportunity to present internationally about our topics. This is about my topic. This is great. But what do you think when we involve the industry into this kind of presentation, does that give a different... Uh... Yeah, because I think that as academics, what we do, we want to, to, to flourish out in the real world, out in, in the private sector, out in companies at the university level. Whatever we spend our life's work on, we want it to prosper and really make a difference in, in the world. So working with them like the game when we're looking at the topics and kind of fine-tuning those those points that you mentioned, what could be other contributing factors that you're not looking at as a researcher. That's just an amazing uh, insight that we got from participating in the, in the, uh, in the panel today. So, great, and uh, we wish you get a you know, solution to this problem. <laughs> yes. Well, but that's going to help everybody in the entire world. I think it is, and I think what we're, talking, what we're trying to do is basically shift sexual violence I am, from a public safety issue to a public health issue. When, when we see things from a public health framework, there's more stakeholders, more people involved. When we stop looking at young men who are the majority of perpetrators as simply possible perpetrators and some people that we can actually help. We can actually do prevention. We don't have to sure, continue sure. to be reactionary. Right. And uh, we hope to see you back again in India. Thank so. you so much. Yes, thank you.